Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So I thought it's about time I gave you a little update on our greenhouse heaters and how they're working. It's about four degrees Celsius outside at the moment, so it's quite cold. And in the greenhouse, let's have a look at what the temperature's reading. So it's reading at 7.7. .7, um, and we had a low last night of minimum three degrees. Last night it was freezing outside, there was, there was a ground frost, it was a freezing fog, so it was really cold. But we managed to keep this greenhouse above freezing, but I, it's still not at a temperature where I want it to be. So let me tell you about the way I'm heating my greenhouse. Now, I made a video a few weeks ago about how I make candles using fat. So this is what the finished product looks like. I've had a few play arounds with wicks and the wicks that work and wicks that don't. Now one of the problems that I encountered was that when I put the wick in in the original way I designed it was that the wick would keep on falling over so whenever the fat melted a little bit and it turned to liquid the wick fell over and when that happened the candle would blow out itself so that wasn't working the wick on its own wasn't working so I had to have a rethink about how to do it and the next thing I tried was I tried putting a, um, a wire coil and then putting the wick through there and heating it you know that way but again the wire got too hot because of the flame and the wick just completely burnt out and you won't have a flame that's strong enough so now what i've resorted to is a bamboo skewer with a piece of cotton t-shirt wrapped around it and that's really doing the trick it's really working very well this is this is the method that i've gone for in the end using these bricks and a couple of pots so there's the candle burning all the fats turn to um, liquid. I mean, it's not a completely clean burn, so there is a little bit of soot that's coming off it. Um, and the same thing with the other one, there is a little bit of soot that's coming off it. But these uh, clay pots are actually hot to touch. They're very hot to touch. And these bricks are quite, uh, they're not hot, but they're warm. I mean, the initial thing that the idea that I had was I was trying to put some kind of uh, storage like a, a tub of sand over the top and collect the heat into that tub of sand and then use that as a radiator so it's still got a decent flame not much of the fat has burnt down but it's burning like a normal candle which is good you can feel that the sand is not cold which it was to start off with the pot it's bearable with the heat I mean it's not hot the temperature's at 11 degrees, the lowest it's been is 11.1 .1. so let's see how that keeps going so it's the next morning and my candle's still alight so it's burnt down about a quarter of the way down and it's still burning and it's still doing strong there's still a fair bit of heat coming off here So, I mean, the flame's a lot smaller. Oh, no, I'll just put it out. <laughs> the wick starts falling over just as, as I was worried about. So the amazing thing is that this thermometer is reading at 10 degrees. That can't be right. We must have had a much warmer night than I thought it would be. I like the way it's worked. But I'm going to have another go at it, but this time I'm going to use a homemade wick and I'm going to use a wick that's a lot thicker just so see if I can get a bigger burn on it. But it wasn't quite working, it wasn't quite getting hot enough. But let me see how this works actually, just popping this pot on top of the clay pots. Because what I'd ideally like, let's see how this works with the, popping the pot on top of the clay pots and see if that blows the flames out. What I don't want is the heat to just dissipate. So last night it was a, about zero degrees, it was a frosty night, but it kept the greenhouse above freezing and that's what I wanted. I mean, it's never going to be toasty warm in here and you can probably see that by the, uh, by the, by the fr cold air coming out of my mouth. I want to keep this greenhouse at about five degrees. Three degrees is just not enough. So what I want to do is I've got these couple of candles. I'm going to light a few more at night time. So anytime... I'm seeing the temperature drop quite a bit. That's when I'm going to light a few more. Can you know, I'm going to light a few more of these and see how that see how that works. As well, in the daytime, what you want is you want 
as much light into the greenhouse as possible. So this is blocking off quite a bit of light. The plant, the bean plants are pretty much dead. So I'm gonna get rid of them. So that's just gonna let a little bit more light into the greenhouse. And when I get a chance, I'm gonna give that a little bit of a wipe and get some of that algae off the wall, off the greenhouse walls, off the glass. And just allow maximum light in. And that's what you want. You want as much of the sun penetrating into here because light's a real issue at the moment. Um, and I'm also going to give this a little bit of a mulch as well. So I've got a few empty pots and they're going to get emptied out on here. Yeah, so I'll just give it a little bit of mulch. At the moment I'm running it with about two candles every day. Um, but if the nighttime temperature is going to be about six, seven, eight degrees, some nights we've had warm temperatures like that then I've not bothered running a candle. Um, but if the temperatures drop below freezing, so minus two, minus three, that's the nights when I'm gonna have four or five of these things in here. And because it's all free, I can afford to do that. So let's have a look in this greenhouse and see how we're getting on in here. Again, as soon as you come in, you can smell, um, you can smell the carbon and you can smell the burning smoke. Uh, so when you come in, I've got a big candle here and this is in like a, about a one litre pot and that flame is, I'm not quite happy about the, using a candle that size because what happens sometimes is the edges don't burn or the wick burn, doesn't um, get hot enough to burn the, do you know, the, 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 the material around the wick burns faster than the fat is actually burning so it's not actually so it doesn't actually result in um, a good burn on that one. Down here, I've got the same thing again, but what, I had, what I've got here is a couple of breeze blocks. Now I had these on end. Now this one's putting out a lot of heat. That one's burnt out, so that one needs filling again. We'll fill that one up. And I wasn't expecting it to be as cold as it was last night. These blocks are much better than the bricks that I've used in the other place, because these are uh, the thermal blocks. So they're not, they're not concrete blocks, but they're like a, a thermal cement block type thing. Um, they're designed for insulation, not load bearing. Now what I would have ideally liked to have done was use storage heater bricks for this. So if you can get some storage heater bricks and build a little compartment, like a little niche, and then put the candle into there, and then make sure it's a nice snug fit, then what that'll do is just heat the storage heater bricks. And because they're sort of refractory bricks, they're designed to store heat they'll release the heat a lot better than these these are working so they're much they'd be much better than this if I can get some if I can get some locally then that might be an option for me to use I mean the chili plants in this greenhouse are in a much better state you especially look at this door set naga it's going it's still doing pretty well there's loads of naga still on there and some of the some of these aren't as well um, but it is going to be a struggle to try and keep them alive in here but we but we're gonna to have to pump up the heat if we really want to do it mm. overall so far so good i think but it's going to need a lot more heat it's going to need more than this two candles is just not good enough it's going to need maybe for a greenhouse this size four or five of these things easily the bush is getting a bit suspicious he's asking me what i'm doing with all this fat when i bring it home uh so i don't know whether he's thinking oh, am i eating it or what but <laughs> he might even start charging me for it it might not be free anymore but it's a, it's a good experiment that we can play with. Normally I use my hotbed and my hotbed need, normally keeps this greenhouse warm enough um, all the way to about January time uh, before I have to top it up. But I've got this door set naga that I don't want to disturb. I don't want to take it out and I want to somehow try and keep it going as long as I can. So that's the reason that I'm not going for the compost heating this year. And I'm just going for these, uh, these candle methods. So let's see. I need more heat. I need more candles in here and I need a bit more um and maybe what i might even do is try and get these positioned underneath the plants so the heat is staying around the plants and the leaves are holding on to the heat a little bit better so that that's another option for me to try and play with so there's a few options there to have a go at so what i think a better option will be to get these away from the middle of the path and actually get this into a bed rather than look 
it's just because of the size of these plant you know these blocks so that makes it a little bit more difficult to to work with so you can see these are quite light in terms of weight they're not the they're not the actual heavy concrete blocks so yesterday I thought I'd be Mr. Clever and I picked one of these cans up with my bare hands and that wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done in my life. There we go. Let's get that pot back over the top. The good thing about this, I mean these pots, I've seen the ordinary tea light type of things. Now tea lights, if you've ever burnt tea lights, they burn for a couple of hours. Um, now this will give me a almost a 48 hour non-stop burn the big thing the big candle that i've got will give me a burn for maybe four days it's double the size of these things but i don't like the way they burn now this is a much easier burn to manage and a much easier burn to handle um, and deal with so that's one of the advantages of this over over the big candle and tea lights as well they just take forever i mean if you've ever tried buying candles this size they're a fortune so they're not definitely not worth it so this does work it does work but the thing the whole thing about it is you need um, volume you need more than just one or two heaters you need quite a few of them so um, let's have to see if they have a better effect in the position that they're in now and what I'll do is I'll probably get one at the back here and then dot another one dot them around so uh, I mean that that, that uh, Naga plant is in a really bad state but that's right up against the glass where there's no heat at all so I really want one at the back here as well and that's normally where the cold air comes from so the cold winds are coming from that direction but yeah I mean there's an update on the on the on the heaters they're sort of working they're not a hundred percent there yet um, there's a few tinkering bits that I can do I mean yeah, there is, there's there's a few ideas that I could do and a few things that I can play with that I want to have a play about with and I'll give you an update with them in a few weeks time again. So I'll leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi